Hey, it's been a while. So we're gonna try and get back to a regular video schedule or more regular anyways. And today we're gonna to start by looking at my current RSS reader called Newsboat. Uh, Newsboat is a TUI terminal user interface application. I just use it in terminal kitty for me on Linux. Uh, there's a few reasons I like it. First, terminal applications heavy on the keyboard commands. There's really no mouse interaction. So I like that because I like keyboard commands. Being a Vim user, I really like that. And it just makes everything easy to work with for me. I don't have to get my hands off my keyboard. I can just keep focusing on the keyboard and not touch the mouse at all. Number two, uh, having a TUI means that I can take it to other systems easily because it just works in any terminal application. So I can take it to Mac OS, I can take it to Windows really uh, and install it there and have the same RSS reader instead of when I switch platforms like I have done, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe eight months ago um, from Mac OS as my full-time platform and dabbling in Linux to being fully on Fedora, uh, now 41 as of yesterday. Uh, and just liking it. I can just take it wherever I want and not have to worry about re, you know, finding all my apps again uh, when I move to a new platform. Number three, when I switched to Linux, there was a lot of issues with the RSS readers that I found available in that they weren't great. They took a lot of resources, like my fan would spin up immediately as soon as I started using one. Just was not very happy with it. Uh, and they honestly, the interfaces looked old and not really nice. Uh, my favorite RSS reader for you know, visually is probably Unread Mac OS iPad. Um, it's excellent, beautiful one. Highly recommend that if you're on those platforms and you're not into the TUI lifestyle like I am now. So TUIs really don't use a lot of resources. I don't notice it. I leave it open all day, ultimately. Let's take a look at it. And we'll start by looking at my configuration. So I use Nix Home Manager um, to manage my all my files. And what this lets me do is take the Home Manager file, move it to a new computer and have everything right there right away. I have all of my configuration right there right away, which is nice. So if you look at the start, you can see with Home Manager, we just enable it. We set auto reload, we set how long it's gonna reload, uh, and then we start setting our source. So I've actually done a blog post about this, which I'll link below. And basically you, this is all described in the Newsboat documentation. I just say use Feedbin, here's my email address, and then I have a separate .newsboat feedbin password file. And that file only has the password in it. Text width is set to 100%. Uh, one of the issues I had at the beginning was it took a while to reload threads, and so or to reload uh, all my RSS feeds, and so that's where reload threads 11 comes in. That helped me um, just reload way faster. It now takes you know 20, 30 seconds to get my fe feeds reloaded and see all of my uh, information. And then show read feeds no. So if there is no unread, it doesn't even show up uh, in my feeds. Next up, key bindings. All right, I like Vim keys, so that I made sure I unbound J and K and X just to make sure that they're not bound with anything. And I assigned them now with bind key, the key J, and then the action you want it to take. And this is all in the newsboat documentation, which I've linked in the bottom of the blog post as well. I want J to be down, K to be up, X to quit. And I also left the original Q to quit key as well. Now, probably the final thing, and we'll show you newsboat in a second, uh, was the color chart or the theming of newsboat. So let's you do the color and the item this is the uh, foreground color. No, let's look it up just so that we are correct. And you can see I actually kept the link right here, right? So there's my link right there. There you go in the colors you can see. So it's the color, right? So we're setting a color, what element we're setting. Elements are listed here. The foreground color of it, and then the background color and the attributes. So the stock colors are black, red, green, yellow, blue, magenta, say, and white, and then color N, so color with a number. And there's also a link uh, there for the color chart. Uh, if you wanna see all the colors you have, you have 256 colors and a 256 color terminal. And then the other things you can do, stand out, underline, reverse, blink, dim, bold, protect, and invisible. So those are your theming options. I actually started with a cat uh theme, but it really didn't work, and so then I, customize it to my own uh, liking, right? Uh, you can set highlights and you can set the article links, everything in here, really. You can theme pretty much the whole thing. So let's look at it. You can see it here. This is it. Now, uh, Tmux, if you're wondering, and that was command was command B Z to maximize. So technically that file is still open above. And I can just B Z to open it, close it. So you can see I can go up and down. This is my own theme, uh, which you saw there. And I have linked in the blog post as well. If I want to view one, I hit enter. Uh, I can hit enter again to see it. And then if I want to find the next unread, I can hit N. That's it. 
I hit N. If I want to open it in a browser, I can hit O. It'll open it in a browser. If I want to get out of here, I can hit X, or the default is Q. See, I can go up and down, and if we look in a list, you can see that N is the unread. Now, if you look in the bottom here, right here across the bottom, you can see that your keyboard commands are listed for you in each uh, screen. You can see my custom X is there, right? I can save, reload, next, unread link, mark all as read. Search, I can do slash, I can hit question mark, right, help. There's all my keyboard commands as well, including my custom mapped ones. You can see right there, right? I mapped X right here to it at the top, right? X to quit, or that's Q, X to quit, and hard quit would be capital Q. So if I just keep hitting Q, it'll eventually quit the application anyways. And that's really it. I just wanted to show off news boat because it's a nice to be application that I really like anyways. Uh, I think that if you're looking for a minimal um, RSS reader, then news boat is a good option. Uh, and you don't have to use a uh, home manager like I did. It really just compiles down to the expected location of the newsboat.conf file. That's all you need to worry about is that you can grab anything I have in my uh, home manager thing in the extra config area once you've installed it and just put it in your theme or in your uh, newsboat.com file and you will be totally fine. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you like the channel, subscribe, hit the bell, all that YouTube stuff. Better ways to support the channel is to go to my site, curtismichael.ca slash membership, become a member, help keep all the content coming. Have an awesome day.